Oh, everybody, so we've got Core One Paper, OCR June 2012. I'm going to show you how to do question two. Question, the first part of question two says the fourth root of seven. You should have learned that the fourth root can be written as one over four. Just a little demonstration as why that works. Fourth root means what can you times by itself four times to get it? Okay, so the fourth root of seven, using your laws of indices, it's going to be seven to the power of a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter, which gives you seven. Okay, so that's why that one works. Number two, the second part, one over seven um, times the square root of seven. In a similar way to the previous one, the square root of 7 can be written as 7 to the power of a half. Okay, 7 on its own is 7 to the power of 1. When we times, we can add the powers. So we get 1 over 7 to 3 over 2. Because this power is on the bottom of your fraction, if you want to bring it up, you need to do the negative value of the power. So our final answer for that one is 7 to the power of minus 3 over 2. The third part of this question is 7 to the power of 4 times 49 to the power of 10. We cannot combine powers unless our base number is the same. So we need to make this 49, 7. Okay? 49 can be written as 7 squared. So we're going to change that. So we've got 7 to the power of 4 times 7 squared to the power of 10. Now, when we do to a power to another power, the indice law says you have to times the powers. So that's 7 to the power of 20. And now we're timesing. So we add the powers, 7 to the power of 24. I hope this has been useful. Watch out for some more Core 1 videos. And good luck in your maths work.